Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about array of structures in C. So before that, the general form of structure declaration is so I already told that structure declaration struct is a keyword, it is used to represent structure. Next tag name is used to represent name of the structure and these are the members of structure. So data type member 1, data type member 2, data type member n you can declare as many as num members okay so data type is used to represent the type of data either int char float or double member is used to represent any valid name okay so here struct is a keyword tag name specifies the name of the structure member one member two member three or the items that make up structure okay so this is the syntax for declaring structure let's see the example so here struct book struct is a keyword book is a structure name int pages so here int is a data type pages is the member okay so for integer it occupies four bytes of data okay next care author author is a variable name that is member and it occupies 30 bytes next float price float is used to occupy 4 bytes ok in this way memory is allocated continuously ok so this is the structure declaration and syntax let's see array of a structure so what is array array is a collection of elements stored in a continuous memory location so here array is used to store only similar types of data that is if you want to store numbers you need to store all the numbers in the array so or if you want to store words that is string you need to store all the strings in memory locations okay it does not allow different types of data in the memory locations that is array but what is structure here structure is used to store data continuously but it accepts different types of data you can store either numbers either characters or strings or special symbols okay so here the most common uses of structure in c programming is an array of structure so array of structure is very very important so to declare an array of structure first the structure must be defined and then an array variable of the type should be defined so if you want to uh, declare or create array of structure first you need to define the you need to declare the structure as it is and then you need to declare the array of structure array variable that is used to defined okay so for example struct book b of 10 so here struct book 10 elements in an array of structure of type book so here book is a structure name it is used to store 10 times okay 10 book details okay so let's see the declaration struct student student is a structure name char name 50 so you can store 50 characters for name next char class 100 you can store class 100 characters up to 100 characters next int roll number float marks okay so for this you can store only one student details one student name one student class one student roll number and one student marks if you want to store 10 student marks 10 students names okay for this purpose you can use array of structure so here you need to declare array of structure the syntax is struct structure name and next array variable name of size so here struct structure name is student array name is stu and the size is 10 so here you can store 10 student details those are name class roll number and marks okay 
so that is the uses of array of structure so why we are using array of structure the main advantage of array is we can represent multiple values with a single variable okay so you can represent multiple variables multiple values with a single variable so in array also here it stores 10 elements if you want to represent each element you can use index values that is 0 1 2 3 okay so if you want to represent third position value you can use a of 3 that is the main advantage of array so that reusability of code improves also readability is increased okay if there is no array of structure we need to store many values in multiple stru uh, structure variables which is redundant so if you if we are not using array of structures you need to store you need to declare multiple structures for every student details for suppose if you want to store 100 student details then you need to declare 100 structures sorry 10 structures for 10 students each each structure is used to store one student detail that is name class roll number address that is okay for repetition purpose we are using array of structure so by declaring array of structure we can use one structure for many students okay so see the example so this is the example program by this it will be clear okay so first hash include stdio.h next we are declaring one structure that is struct student char name okay so 30 characters will be allocated and next for roll number four character uh, four integer values four bytes and four bits sorry four bytes next for float four bytes are allocated okay next you need to declare array of structure okay so declaring array of structure so the syntax is struct structure name array variable name and next size so here struct student is the structure name yes is the array variable name three is the size so here you can store up to three student details okay because here the size is 3 you can repeat this process to three students you can store only three student details let's see so i am taking one i variable okay so next i am initializing i is equals to 0 okay 0 less than 3 is it true or false yes it is true if it is true then it goes to next step enter name role and marks of student so name is stored at yes of i i value is 0 yes of 0 dot name okay s of 0 dot name is used to store name and next s of 0 dot roll number is used to store roll number next ampersand s of zero dot marks is used to store marks okay next i value is incremented to 1 1 less than 3 is it true or false it is s yes, it is true next enter name roll number and marks for student that is s of 1 dot name so second student detail name is stored and roll number is stored and next marks are stored next i value is incremented to 2 2 less than 3 is true again third student details are stored next i value is incremented to 3 3 less than 3 is false so that's why it goes to out of the block so this is one block it goes to out of the block that is this statement inputted details so if you want to display the details okay so here the memory locations are stored next you need to display the values in the memory locations then you need to use inputted details 
for i is equals to zero i less than three i plus plus so zero less than three is true next name is s of zero dot name so first name will be displayed and next roll number will be displayed marks will be displayed next try value is incremented to one one less than three is true next i of sorry s of one dot name s of one dot roll number s of one dot marks next try value is incremented to two s of two dot name s of two dot roll number s of two dot marks so in this way three student details are stored and three de uh, student details are displayed okay so this is the use of array of structure by using array of structure we can repeat the same structure to number of students okay many number of students okay I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts regarding to this video, please comment me in the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.